<laughs> hey guys, um, I'm back reading from my blog. Um, we are up to June of 2016, which I think is like, I don't know, it's like eight months after I lost my husband. Um, and what I'm reading today is um, kind of about like community and those that rally around us. Um, and I was extremely blessed. I was blessed to be home um, with my mom and my family. Um, I was blessed that I had a strong, sorry had a strong community behind me. Um, I was, for all of the horror and awfulness, um, God knew where I needed to be and he had me here and there was a lot of like how and why and that got me here and that got me my son and um, that's another video at another time and I, uh, I'll post that but um, the people around you really, they really do make the difference. Um, so, yeah, here we go. Okay, I called this one Tribe. When I lost William, my tribe truly turned up. They came from different cities and even different states. I was 25 years old and eight months pregnant. They rallied at the hospital. They rallied at fundraisers. They brought food. They brought flowers. They called. They texted. They helped move furniture, they helped clean house, they showed up night after night, and they truly kept the world around me moving forward. It has now been almost eight months. I am struggling more now to continue moving forward than I have since the start. I give every ounce of what I have to continue on instead of closing the door and truly saying, curse words, it. <laughs> the tribe has resorted back to their lives. They seem frustrated by my reluctancy to appear at functions. They change the subject when I veer towards memory lane, and they no longer pick up the phone. They for sure don't leave their city, and the ones that stood beside us on our wedding day, I no longer feel them standing beside me. As a widow, I mourn my husband. I mourn my best friend. I mourn my past. I mourn my future. I mourn the father of my children. I mourn the memories. I mourn my favorite movies. I mourn our music. I mourn our stepdaughter. And I mourn our tribe. I will never be able to repay nor express my gratitude for the way people kept my world in motion. But I sure do miss them now. Sincerely, your widow. <laughs> I lost a lot of relationships after losing William. Some of them, because um, people grieve different and don't know how, you know, to They've said, like, look at me, or look at Klaus, or do what they know that they should do, but they can't do some just because they go back to their lives. And it's one thing when you lose a friend that you see, like, every month or every six months. Um, it's not the same as losing someone that you share a bed with. Um, you know, when they go home at night, they go home like they did when William was here, when I come home at night. I have this giant king size bed with no one in it. Um, some friendships I had a lot to do with. Um, it took me almost three years to get my medicine right and to even be willing to get out of my chair. Um, I did the bare minimum. I went to school. I gave all that I had in school. I came home. I gave what I had left to my son. And that was it. I, I was at fault for a lot. I didn't show up to functions. Functions were hard. Um, functions forced me into memories. I felt, I still feel like if I go out to see friends and 
you know, they say, how are you doing? It's like, I either say like, I suck. And they're like, oh, cool. <laughs> like we're gonna go where somebody's not gonna kill our vibe. Or I say I'm great. And one, it's a lie. And two, it's like when you say that you're okay, it's like you're hurting your spouse. That didn't really make sense. So when I say like, I'm doing really good, to some people they understand what that means. Um, but for the general population, when I tell them, that I'm doing really good, I feel like they think I'm over it. And you don't ever get over it. And I feel like I'm degrading my husband by saying that I'm okay. Even though it's okay to be okay, it's like, it's like a ping of guilt. Um, mm. It's so confusing being out in the world. Um, I had a friend one day tell me we were talking, we were in out of town on a, like an art trip and he was making a joke about like single girls and yada, yada, yada. And I was like, well, I'm like a single girl. And he was like, you don't count. And I was like, I guess I don't like, I'm a married woman without a husband who's in love with a husband, but able to date if I want to, like where, what is that? where do I fall in the spectrum, like, and who, ugh, that's a different, that's a different video. Um, like I said, a lot of the friendships losses were my fault or I played a part in um, because of my reluctancy to push past or my inability to push past. Um, and a lot of that had to do with my medication. When I got my medication right, I remembered what it was like to want to live. I remember, like, it was like, I could see the future. I wanted to walk around the plaza in Santa Fe. I wanted to go shopping. I wanted to play on the trampoline with my son, even though I can't because of, whoo, my downstairs mix up. Wrecked. Um, nine and a half pound baby. Mm. Um, but I wanted to do life again, you know, like I'm outside and I'm fixing fences and I'm doing this and I'm engaging with other people and I'm trying to help other people in my situation. And like, when I got my pills together, I got me together. And so actually like tomorrow I'm meeting up with one of my best friends, um, to try and mend our relationship from how it's fallen because, because of a lot. I know it's been hard to be my friend. Um, it's been hard to be a friend. I've been a shitty friend. Um, but I'm just now getting me back and I'm working on fixing what's been lost um, in the areas that I can. Um, I mean, I even lost a sibling through this, like actually two siblings, um, one biological and one God given, but I'm so thankful for everything and everyone and strangers and friends and family and the outpouring of just love and heartache and care that was sent to us. And the losses. I understand why people's lives go on. I get it. I, I mean, when you get married, everyone's there for you. And but your first anniversary, they're like, yeah, you're still there. Congrats. Like, it's not, you know, everybody goes on after that day. And that's kind of what happens um, when you lose a partner. It's like everyone's there for you and everything going on. And then it's kind of just you focusing on it. Um, same with losing a child. I mean, there's there's other similar um, circumstances, but I've got a lot of work to do fixing my tribe. Um, 
and I hope that my tribe is ready to put the work in to help fix me. I love you guys, and I will talk to y'all soon. Bye, guys.